Hey, Gemini. Happy holidays. What's going on with you guys? Hope everyone is watching that budget as we spin, spin, spin for the people closest to us. Of course, some things can be bought and uh, love is one of them. So make sure you check in your listening, checking it twice, making sure that whoever's on that list, you're not trying to buy their love. I don't know where I get this message from, but that's for somebody. But um, either way, let's go ahead and jump into this reading and see what you need to know about your relationship with this person, Gemini. Let's check out the vibe and see what's up. Beloved, what's up with Gemini? What does Gemini need to know, please? What's up with Gemini, please? Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And at the bottom of the deck, you got twin flame. So you could be definitely be in a relationship with your twin flame or you're manifesting it. But what are you holding on to with, for, with freedom, surrender, and forgiveness? There's something you need, you really hold on tightly to and you need to let it go. You really need to forgive this person because it may be affecting your spirit, your soul in some type of way. Because when you, when, when forgiveness comes up, it's, it's two things that can happen with forgiveness. You can transmute that energy, forgive that person, and make like something good come out of whatever happened. Or it's going to seep into your spirit and become this root of bitterness. And then you're going to be walking around here an angry old man or bitter. No, how do I put it? A grumpy old man or a bitter old woman. Okay, those are the two options with unforgiveness. And if you listen to the way people talk, sometimes the words that come out of people's mouth is just like, wow. I don't judge. I allow people to be every, um, who they are. But it's like some people's mouth is like, wow, I can't believe that came out of there. <laughs> but either way, let's go ahead and hop into your message. See what, what beloved wants you to know. You have the four pinnacles. The Five of Cups. That's you holding on to it. The Five of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness, Gemini. And the Knight of Pentacles. This Knight can't even come in because you holding on to the past. On, on, on whatever happened, look at this energy on this board is screaming. You need to let this go. Okay. The four pinnacles. I mean, you literally standing on, and I don't get this sometimes. Sometimes I do, but sometimes people stand on their principles, right? These are their principles, things that they, like their, what is it? Their life mission. Like if they had a mission statement for their life, this would be part of their life mission. But it seems like, some people mission statement include things like, if you do this to me, I'm going to make you suffer or, you know, I'm going to get back at you or it's going to be revenge or I'm going to cut you off or, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's cool, but allow the universe to work things on the way they they're going to work it out regardless. Don't make it a part of your mission statement to hold on to this, this bitterness, anger, resentment, whatever. Yeah. This person messed up. You don't think they know they messed up with Gemini. The worst thing that happened to this person is that they had lost you in their life. Okay. But it's somebody that want to come in and they can't come in. Like they are being held back because this is what's going on. You haven't moved on. You still holding on. And this other person, Whatever the situation talking about, this person could have uh, moved on with somebody else or you could have moved on with somebody else. And somebody is angry and holding on to all this bitterness. If, if I don't know, people think that you can tell when they don't have this unforgiveness in their heart, but the heart it starts to be a, a, a fruit that comes out of that mouth. You can hear people that. Oh, you know, uh, okay, it sounds like this. That's like cliche, but you can hear people say this. All men are dogs. 
because they haven't been dog before, and, and because they're they're thinking this is what brings in all those dog men. Okay, um, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> That's what bring in all them hoes that's not loyal that just want what you got. Like that type of energy. These are these are mission statements that people include in their life and they wonder why it's manifesting in their life. Change your mindset about the situation. Change how you're feeling about this situation because somebody just really need to let something go. I feel like Gemini, you're holding on to something. This person is holding on to something. Whoever's holding on to something. Look at this woman. Well, you know, it's Christmas time. This is how, you know, somebody is, is feeling in their red dress or red outfit. They look good on the outside. Inside, they can't breathe. You know, it's nothing worse. They don't want to, they don't want to be around people. You see that house in the background. She don't want to be around people. She want to go outside and put herself in this hole, this, um, 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 sunken place. Okay. No, this person don't either. They in the sunken place. Both of you guys could be in the sunken place, not letting whatever happened go. Okay. It's time to let it go. Okay, somebody wants to come in new, but they cannot come in until you let go. So it's going to take them forever to bring you this pinnacle. And look, look at the cards that want to come out. Gift and sweetheart. But how, how, um, you can also be getting a gift from somebody that, like, uh, um, uh, offering, <laughs> offering for forgiveness or something like that. But yeah, how's this person going to come in, Gemini, if you're holding on to all this unforgiveness? And let's say they come in tomorrow. You're going to run this damn person off. Whoever whoever energy I'm reading, you're going to run this person off because you can smell that. You know? It's just like... Mm, it's just... You can smell it. You can hear it. And people need to be more aware. Somebody needs this self-love do some self-care or something whoever if this is you gemini or this is the cross watcher just like pamper yourself and indulge yourself and just love you so deserve it you know because where's the cups at you know and there's there's really not you know any money is not involved in the situation or anything look at these pinnacles this somebody hold on to something that they need to let go the path is clear if you need it to be. There's nothing stopping you. Freedom. But somebody's not willing to let it go. Let's see what's up. Okay. Indulgement. Indulgence. Relaxation. Readiness. And collaboration. Okay, so somebody may have put you in a third party situation or somebody mama, grandmama, somebody was interfering. But I feel like this could have been a third party situation. We all make mistakes. This is what forgiveness is for. Let's let's uh, okay, let's let's give you a scenario, Gemini. So you meet someone, let's say you meet someone new, y'all dating about let's say let's just put like a time frame, three, four months on it, right? And they're out one day and they run into their ex. They were with their ex for like eight, ten years, you know, something like that. Right? It's temptation there. A person has to be very awake, very in tune with themselves to know that this is a test. This is getting ready to transform the future. Because either you're going to pick the old or you're going to pick the new. Right? Because an ex is an ex for a reason. So let's just say this person starts talking to this person, eventually, whatever. This person's back in this person's life. And they're mistreating you, mishandling you in some type of way because of this old person. Now, let's just say they leave you and they go with this old person. Very possible they could be like, oh, the love is still there. I want to try it again, right? This is this is personal. It has really nothing to do with you, but you might have, you know, got feelings for this person or already, you know, felt like you will be in a relationship with this person. So it causes some type of hurt, resentment, anger, frustration, all that type of stuff. But when you look at the bigger picture, this person was just following their heart. But let's say it didn't work out. Okay. You don't think that person is going to look back and be like, damn, why did I leave Gemini? Gemini was exactly what I prayed for, exactly what I wanted, something like that. But this is why you got to have forgiveness because we all are human. Like, we 
We make mistakes all the time. Imagine somebody just holding you like by your neck because you didn't, you know, you don't messed up or did something wrong and never letting it go. We all need forgiveness in this life. And this is what needs to happen here because somebody thinking they okay and they're not because they're not letting it go. This is not okay. It is time to release and relax. Move on past this energy, okay? Because I feel like, I feel like, like if they rejected you or something in the past or something and you offered them, you know, your best something, I feel like they were ready to come back in or somebody's ready to come in. But there's this energy of still holding on to it. What if, just what if? This person wants to come back and really be real. Or what if a new person wants to come in and really be real with you? But holding on to the past and the unforgiveness is clouding your judgment. This what if. You know what I mean, Gemini? But um, Let's go ahead and get your message from Beloved. Close out the reading. Beloved, what's the message for Gemini, please? What's the message for Gemini, please? Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate. As all of the ingredients are right for your success, everything and everyone on, is on your side supporting your positive outcome. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Now is the perfect moment. The doors are open. Now is the time, Gemini, or Crosswatch, or whatever this is that Beloved is talking to you regarding. Now is the time. It's perfect timing for you to proceed forward, to move forward, to, to let go of the past and go into a beautiful, glorious, fabulous, awesome, wonderful future. Okay? Either way, Gemini, thank you guys so much for watching. Please check the description box down below. I do offer personal readings, tarot cards, all kind of good stuff, t-shirts. Um, and definitely check out my SD shop. Um, you can find all of the, my tarot creation cards there. Until next time, Gemini, love, peace, and soul. Take care.